Hey everyone, so what do I have in common with the likes of Julian Absalon or Pauline Ferrand Prevost? Well, we all use Duke racing wheels that are made by a small company in southern France called JP Racing. They have some crazy rim and wheel designs and I could afford the aluminum version of their rims. Let's check them out. What I have here is their sisters concept, dedicated front and rear rim with special designs. What's special about these rims? If you look carefully here, you're gonna see that the spoke hole is off-center. So these are offset aluminum rims, something pretty hard to find these days. I prefer offset rims because they allow me to build a better wheel. The rims have different internal dimension as well. The front one is 29 and a half millimeters. The rear one is 26 and a half. If you look at the offset, the front one is 2.5 millimeters. The rear one is 2.2 millimeters. And if you look at the rim profile, the front rim is 19 and a half millimeters tall. The rear wheel is 17 millimeters tall. This makes for different behavior or different flex on the two rims to accommodate for the modern trail riding style which usually uses a burlier bigger tire front and a not so big tire in the back to fit in the frame. Otherwise the rims are black with the logo and information about the rims here by the stem. If you're interested in the fancy pink decals that Pauline used all last year, they do have them, but they're a bit too expensive for me. I'm gonna build the wheels myself for trail riding and I decided to go for the trusty 350 hubs with center lock because I like the new Shimano rotors. These are DT Swiss 2 millimeter by 12 millimeter nipples and the spokes that I've chosen this time are Sapim Erase. The beauty of having offset rims is that I can use only two spoke lengths for my two wheels. I'm going with 32 holes and 32 aluminum nipples are 10 grams, so 20 grams for the nipples. Sapim Erase is a pretty standard two 1.8 2 millimeter double butted spoke and 64 of them come up to 409 grams. My hubs with the XD driver come up to 394 grams. The front Duke rim is 497 grams, they spec 480. And the rear Duke rim is 461 grams versus the 450 they spec. This is pretty much the weight of a Stan's Arch MK3 rim, which is 26 millimeter wide as well, but it's not an offset rim like this one. So it doesn't say Crazy Star anywhere where it doesn't. What about sisters? Well, that's a play on words and pronunciations. Six in French is six stirs. You get it? Duke rims are supposed to be made with high attention to details. And I can attest to that. These are beautiful. You see the hookless rim profile. I assume these are pinned rims. You see the, uh, the joint here. And the finish is this matte black with a bit of texture to it. I know I kind of promised to show you how to build a wheel from scratch and I might do it one day, but let's just say in this video that if you have a TM1 tension meter, a good spoke wrench and maybe a neat pull driver, uh, you're good to go. I would highly, highly, highly recommend to buy this book, the Roger Mousson's uh, whatever edition is now of wheel building. Everything you need is in here and if you follow those steps, you'll be amazed. I laced this front wheel a three cross so that's over, over, under and I prepped the spokes for the first time with this which is a Teflon powder. This is made by Stans. Other times I just used oil, more oil or something like this, the silver anti-seize. Prep the spokes with something folks especially if you're using aluminum nipples like I did. Also make sure that the spokes that you bought are the same length. In my bunch of 294 I found this one which as you can see is 296. The way you measure the spokes is from the elbow, the inside of the elbow, all the way to the tip. You don't really need a true and stand for my first wheel sets. I used the bike upside down. At some point I bought this uh, cheapo uh, park tool. And one thing to keep in mind is that you always have a lot more time than any wheel builder out there. So 
Take your time, do it right. The equal spoke tension on each side is way more important than a perfectly true wheel. In my case, I have about 10% variation between the tension on the spokes on each side. And here's that front wheel ready to go. The overall weight for it is 852 grams. That is without the valve or rim tape that I haven't installed yet. Rear wheel is 925 grams. I just finished building it, so the weight of the wheel set is going to be 1775 grams. Not too bad for an enduro all mountain type of wheel set. Wheel set is pretty much done. I can attest that the rims were high quality. It was fairly easy to build them or I'm getting a bit better at building wheels. One of the two. Building these was almost as easy as building a carbon wheel, which is usually easier because of the stiffness of the rim. I usually build my wheels with offset rims because they allow me to use one or two lengths of spokes throughout the wheel set. Also, the wheel is laterally stiffer because the tension of the spokes on either side is within about 10%. If you're wondering why I built them myself, uh, first of all, because I was able to build them exactly the way I wanted them. Second of all, because in Canada, it would have been quite impossible for me to find something like this. I kind of like the concept of dedicated front and rear rims. I like the story. I like the fact that the world champions are using these. Most importantly, I built them because I really like building wheels. It's not that complicated and quite rewarding. Have you folks ever looked at Duke wheels? Have you ever considered building your own wheels like I did here? Let me know if you have any questions. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep an eye on social media. And until next time, I hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.